Hello guys, Emmanuel from Geekception here, and today I'm going to be telling you what are my thoughts about the Edifier GM4 Minis. Let's begin. And welcome back guys. Now the Edifier GM4 Mini right here is a true wireless gaming earphones, and in this video I'll be telling you what are some of my thoughts, whether it's for gaming, it's for running, or it's just for general music listening. And a quick disclaimer, this unit was sent to me by InterAsia, who are the distributors for Edifier here in Malaysia, but they do not get to preview any of my thoughts and they are seeing it at exactly the same time that you are. Now that that has been out of the way, let's get started. Starting with the unboxing and on the front of the box is an image of the earphones alongside GM4 Mini. On the left of the box is a quick overview such as, you know, Bluetooth 5.0, LED lights, yada, yada, yada. On the back of the box and you can find the specifications as well as the contents that are shown in the box. Unboxing it and the first thing that I see is the case and another box underneath. Removing the case and I can see that it contains the earbuds and on removing the second box below I find the accessories for the earphones such as USB type C cable and extra ear tips. Taking a look behind the box and I see the documentation such as manuals and warranty cards which I bet you will never read. The charging case here is actually quite chunky. We have a big one right here. One cool thing that I like is that it lights up to show the battery charge left and I guess all of this is part of the gaming aesthetic. For a quick tour on top of the box is H and on the bottom is an indicator light and on the back is the USB type C. And now that we've gotten the unboxing out of the way, how does the Edifier GM4 Mini right here, you know, perform in everyday life? For me, everyday life entailed running, it entailed listening to podcasts, and it entailed gaming as well. Now, starting with gaming and on first impressions on putting this on, the first thing that I felt most definitely was the fact that it had a lot of bass. It sounded very full, and even when I gave it to my friends to try... And I like... The sound was definitely heavy, like, it's really, really clear. You can tell, like, everything is together. Yeah, the first thing I definitely noticed is that these have a whole lot more bass. Included with this, uh, there is a gesture which you press on the earphones itself, which switches it into gaming mode. Now, I'm not quite sure. I think gaming mode reduces the latency or something, but to be honest, I never quite used it like that. I use it just in the default mode. Speaking of gaming, and I play a lot of Genshin Impact, and of course, I use this for Genshin Impact. As regards to my quality, right there and this is the audio quality from the edifier gm4 mini one this is the sound test that you're going to be getting from this earbud so tell me how do you think do you think you're going to like this in game let me know right there next up is running now i use this earphones a lot for running you know most times i go on my long run and you know i usually take this to listen and you know battery life here has been great for me uh, most of the runs i've run with this i've been able to use the whole battery life so when it comes to you know the stuff I listen to when I go running, which is podcasts, which is music, I would say I have no complaints here whatsoever. I actually use it when I ran a marathon as well, so that is pretty cool. Uh, but one thing I did have a complaint though is the fit. Now, I know there is a different ear tips and I have tried different ear tips, but for some reason, you know, it just, even no matter the ear tips I tried, it just keeps falling off. So maybe, you know, I would get one of those custom ear tips or something, but that's just something to take note of. Listening to music in general, and I would say that I have no complaints here. I, this definitely sounds way more fuller and has way more bass compared to something like the X3, for example, which while when I listen to that, you know, you can check out the video over here. When I listened to that for the first time, I was like, this is amazing. And then I listened to this and this is like even more amazing. I only think the thing that hampers this for the long term is like the battery life is not as much as the Edifier X3, but I would say in my own use case, I've had no complaints when it comes to battery life. And rounding off with the case itself and charging, I would say, you know, definitely it looks cool, especially with the, you know, uh, gaming aesthetics right there. And, you know, charging it and putting it in the case most generally looks very cool. But a con, I would say most definitely is the fact that the case is quite big. So when you put this in your pocket, you can most definitely feel that this is chunky. Now, this is the perfect segue to rounding up the video. And I would say that when it comes to the Edifier, you know, GM4 Mini is right here. If you are looking for something that, you know, has enough bass, that the sound is quite full, 
um, that has the gaming aesthetics, if that is what you care about, you know, it has the, you know, blinking lights and all that, most definitely go for this. If you're looking for something that is a little bit more portable, that you can, you know, easily put in your pocket that lasts, you know, longer than the, the uh, stated battery life here, then maybe check out something else. And for me, would I recommend this? I think most definitely if you're someone who you will not need to listen for, you know, absurdly long eight hours, for example, period of time, and you do not mind the chunky case right here. And that has basically been it right here for the review of the Edifier GM4 Mini. Uh, what do you think about it? Do you have this? Are you considering this? Let me know in the comment section down there below. And until next time, I shall catch you. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye.